Okay, I'm doing a quick video on uh, the no photon is an island problem. This, this, this is my explanation of why the thought experiments of uh, the relativity of simultaneity and the time dilation thought experiments must be able to be combined. And if relativity cannot combine them, then relativ relativity is invalid, special relativity. So I call this the no photon is an island problem. And I, you know, it's my contention that relativity can't combine them and therefore it's invalid. So let's get rid of, I'm, I'm your host, Professor Scott Reeves. No. Um, so we'll, we'll start with a light bulb. Put the light bulb on here. We've got us a light bulb here. It's emitting a ring, it's emitting a wave of light, which is represented here by a ring of photons. Those circles are photons. Okay. Um, now, if we have a spherical room around this light bulb that is exactly centered upon the light source, we will expect that every single, every, the photons will hit the, all, the entire surface of the room, all the walls of the room will be hit simultaneously. Um, by the photons, you know, right? We're, con we're not considering any kind of motion right now. We're just saying there's a room and there's a light bulb. And when it emits photons, we would expect that the photons would strike the walls of our room at exactly the same time. <clears throat> and you will notice that each of these photons on here is associated with a whole bunch of other photons that are at an exact equal distance from this center of emission. They, em they emit as a whole. So that if you were, if, if, if your light were slightly off center, you would not expect that the walls would be struck by the photons at the same time. You would expect to find that some had hit the wall before the others. You know, because the light has further distance to go in some directions. We're not talking, we're not considering any type of motion at this point. Just if the, if the bulb is off-centered. So from this we can say, if this ring of photons is unable to be superimposed over the room like this, then obviously <clears throat> there will be a discrepancy at the t in the timing of which photons strike which walls but like if if this photon strikes the wall there are some photons associated with it that are an exact equal distance from the light source that have not yet hit the wall and there are some photons associated with it that have hit the wall this photon is not associated with some photon in a, in a successive wave that will hit here you can't say okay this photon is touching the wall and this photon is touching the wall Therefore, they are, you know, identical or whatever you want to call it. This ring, this, this ring of photons that are at an equal distance from the source, they are the only photons that are associated with one another. There are no other photons that can be associated with them. So, and, and basically right we're here, we have combined the relativity of simultaneity thought experiments and the time dilation thought experiments. The time dilation thought experiment will be the up and, up and down direction here, usually this photon it's represented by, and the time, the rel that's the time dilation. The relativity of simultaneity will be these two photons. So, and here we have our outside observer. There's relative motion between these two. Now I'm going to this ship is moving relative to him. So the walls of the ship are moving. This light source, these photons cannot move along with the ship. Otherwise, this outside observer will measure distance, a velocity greater than C, which relativity forbids. So it must be the case that these photons, if the ship is in motion, can never be superimposed over the walls of the ship which is the only way that simultaneity can ever be possible. I mean, that it's the only way that you can ever have 
simultaneity on the the timing of the uh, striking of the walls there if if this if there's a mismatch if there's ever motion this ring will never be able to be superimposed and so there will never be simultaneity no observer could ever claim that the wall that the walls were hit simultaneously and be correct so if we have axel here that guy's name is axel blackman if we have him another version of him inside the rocket moving along with the rocket he cannot claim and be correct that these photons have struck the walls all the way around because if he's considering this photon here as having <clears throat> not struck the wall yet well this photon is associated with other photons that have struck the wall but but we say that well he's he's got to be able to see it like this because the laws of physics are the same in all reference frames he's got to be able to see it like this in order for him to claim simultaneity and say that the walls were all struck at the same time because he can pretend that he's not moving so they can't both be right you know the, the axle inside the ship can't say that yeah this photon struck the wall at the same time this one did meanwhile this other axle where there's relative motion well, this photon didn't strike the wall, and this one did, because these photons are all associated with one another. If you're considering this photon, you have to consider all these other ones along with it. If you consider this photon, you have to consider all these with it. And if you're considering this one, you can't consider that, okay, this one's 186... You know, this one's a certain distance from the center. If this one is a certain distance from the center of emission, then this, these other ones have to be that same distance from the center of emission. So, so, so if there's relative motion, there can never be a combination because it's physically impossible for all the photons to have struck it from one guy's viewpoint and not all the photons to have struck it from another guy's viewpoint. That's physically impossible. It's physically impossible for this photon, which is touching the wall, to be, physically, to be actually physically associated with another photon that is touching the wall as well. Because this photon can only be can only be associated with this photon, so it's never the case that they are together. So one of them's got to be wrong, and you can say, "Yeah, well, the one that is wrong is obviously this diagram is from the viewpoint of this outside observer here, who considers himself stationary. So this is a biased viewpoint, uh, and you know this this guy in here he can cons consider himself stationary, and this guy will be doing the other thing." I go into that on another video. I'm basically doing a test video here, testing this new capture software. But um, yeah, the situation is supposed to be reciprocal. But um, I I outlay the problems on that in another video. But um, to be truly reciprocal, you have to also give ax this axle another light bulb and um to be truly reciprocal have, both of them have to have a stationary light source associated with them for it to be truly reciprocal I, anyway I go into that in another video I just wanted to get an actual uh, th this I kind of think this one's easier to understand than those crude drawings I did in my other videos so anyway you know it's boom if it's You know, it's like that. It's boom. They, it's the only way there can ever be simultaneity uh, is if no no observer disagrees on this. There can be no physical disagreement that if this photon is touching the wall, then this other photon is touching the wall. There can never be any physical disagreement on that. And there can never be any physical disagreement that if this photon is not touching the wall... Then uh, ho hopefully this is making sense. I need to shut this down now because I'm not confident this is even going to capture this all. So I don't want to run too long. But anyway, this I guess just consider this sort of a preliminary video <clears throat> until I get the kinks ironed out of my new software. But anyway, this is what I was talking about when I was saying you have to be able to combine the two thought experiments because this is basically a combination of the two thought experiments. And if you do this, relativity doesn't work.
you, you know, you can say, well, the the ship the ship uh, it's moving in re relative to the other guy, so it's length contracted. That still brings up other problems. Oh, this is length contracted, and, uh, um, which is th there are problems with that, but I'm not going to get into them right now. I'll probably redo this video at some time. Anyway, I just wanted to get this out. So, plus I'm testing software. So anyway, I'm done with this for now.